Hello boys and girls, welcome to a report of my current Dwarf Fortress. fortress. Ah, yes, I have started a new Dwarf Fortress embark called <coughs> Ink Cloistered. We've just arrived, population is 7. I have embarked at a seashore. Um, they, they have wonderful waves here. I love them. You see this wave coming at the shore and water spilling to the shore. These grey things are shale pebbles. The stone underneath is shale. Of course, I knew I would have to deal with an aquifer, as is the case in uh, close to any wa water sources but luckily I dealt with the aquifer quite easily I just dug around it I didn't know it will be so easy we have a temporary food stockpile here a few beds and the first dining room well not really a room a dining niche here we have a uh, stockpile for wood. Down here I have dug out some more stockpiles. This is precious white sand. Uh, I'll have to collect it sometime and make glass. As I've dug further I've realized this is already a damp stone. So this sand, black sand, is damp. Uh, but I have found shale here and uh, it turned out that I can dig through the shale around the aquifer just so that I have uh, enough space so this is this blinking blue stone is damp but I see there is just enough space for a 2x2 two two staircase and here we have found sphalerite um, a sphalerite um, cluster in phyllite. So sphalerite is the ore of uh, hmm, what is it? Zinc. And uh, zinc and copper make brass. So that will be very lucrative uh, industry, metal industry, making brass more sphalerite here as we proceed to the granite layer downwards <clears throat> then we have a flux stone marble so in case we will uh, get some iron ores from caravans trading by trading we will be able to make steel we weapons and steel armor as well and underneath the marble layer is again phyllite I haven't dug yet any deeper it's been already a month and I haven't started uh, any farming yet. I don't think I will. Um, just now I... Uh, you know, maybe I should. At least for some s sustenance. Um, but you know how I do uh, farming. I, I have many 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 farms and everything neatly <coughs> divided I try to get all the possible crops in I can to have the mo biggest variety of drinks and food I can produce from from the land um, so I will I am thinking of making a just tapping the aquifer above and having some underground farms a small room flooded somewhere and uh, farming there on mudded rock rather than farming on this white sand but for the present farming on the white sand will be best I have already brought some stock with me I have four sheep some goats geese turkeys 
Um, is it a pig? I think it's a pig or pinny peahen. Okay, not pigs. Yeah. I can at least shear the sheep and spin thread from their wool. Uh, we have some. Um, Oh, this is sea foam. Okay, we have some mosquito men around. I haven't uh, disturbed them yet because I have no military to speak of. These great things here, you see, is driftwood. Um, that's a strange thing. Nobody really know knows what purpose it has. You can't collect it. You can't remove it. <coughs> you can only build over it. I'll just ignore it for the moment. So, I'll give you the next update on this fortress, Ink Cloistered, uh, when I have progressed a bit. Thanks so far for watching. See you next time.